um, esteemed uh, guests uh, and participants, it is a privilege and honor to extend a warm welcome to all of you to the awards session of the 19th uh, Davis uh, Conference. In this session, we come together to celebrate the remarkable achievements of uh, various individuals of our uh, community. So today, we will recognize and honor the authors of most cited papers, the authors of best papers, the most loyal Zdeves uh, conference participants, and in addition, we will also present an honorary award to a distinguished colleague who has made uh, significant contributions to the success and growth of the conference over the years. So this uh, session promises to be a momentous occasion where we will acknowledge the outstanding work and dedication of our community members. Thank you for joining us and let us proceed with uh, celebrations. Most cited papers, uh, we start with uh, most cited Zdeves paper, uh, which is a word presented to the authors of the most cited paper, which was published in the Zdeves special issues of the associated journals. The selection process for this award involves uh, counting the citations received by each Zdeves paper over a span of two calendar years after the publication. Then this number is uh, divided by the journal's impact factor in the year of publication. So it means we measure the contribution of that paper to the impact factor of uh, the specific journal. And the paper with the highest score in this calculation is recognized uh, as the most cited paper. The recipients of this award uh, will be presented with certificates from Zdeves, along with a book uh, authored by a member of the Zdeves International Scientific Committee. And this time, we acknowledge the winners of the most cited paper from the Zdeves uh, 2018 conferences, specifically first Latin American Zdeves conference Rio, third Zdeves Southeastern European Zdeves conference Novi Sad, and the 13th Zdeves conference Palermo. So, the most cited paper from Zdeves 2018 conferences investigates uh, how solar combined cooling, heating, and power systems based on hybrid uh, PVT, PV, or solar thermal collectors can be applied in buildings. It is authored by Maria Herando, Antonio Pantillo, Kai Wang, Christos Marquides, and was published 2019 in the Journal of Renewable Energy. The award is a book written by uh, Professor Henry Glund entitled Renewable Energy Systems, a Smart Energy Systems Approach to the Choice and Modeling of 100% Renewable Solutions. I hope uh, the first author, Maria Herando, is uh, following uh, uh, this session virtually, so I would like to invite Maria to address the audience. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Zewa Center for this award. I really was not expecting it. And then I would also uh, like to thank Professor Palombo, which I believe is, is there, that like, will be uh, getting the award on my behalf. Thanks. I hope to see you uh, meet soon. 
Um, I'm very sorry I couldn't attend uh, this year's uh, conference for personal reasons, but um, yeah, I enjoy a lot and I love Dubrovnik, so uh, thanks a lot. I really hope to see you all uh, next year in, in the next DWIS conference in Rome. Uh, enjoy your time there. Thank you. In fact, uh, Professor Alombo, um, uh, Professor Adolfo is with us, and I would like to invite him to receive the award on behalf of authors. Thank you. On behalf of Maria. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then uh, we go on with most uh, cited Jace Davis paper. Uh, this award recognizes the authors of the most cited paper published in the Journal of Sustainable Development of Energy, Water and Environment Systems. Uh, the selection process for this award involves also counting the number of citations received by each J.S. Davis paper over a span of two calendar years. Uh, the paper with the highest citation count is acknowledged as the most cited J.S. Davis paper. And the recipients uh, of this award, besides certificates, and a book authored by a member of uh, Zdeves International Scientific Committee would receive an extra token of uh, appreciation in a form of two Zdeves coins. Uh, the monetary value of one Zdeves coin is equivalent to the J. Zdeves publishing fee. So the uh, awarded authors will receive two waivers for publishing their work in J.S. Davis. This time, uh, we will be honoring the winning papers from the volume 8 of J.S. Davis. Uh, so, the most uh, cited J.S. Davis paper uh, from the volume 8 is titled uh, Preliminary Energy Assessment to Improve the Energy Sustainability in the Small Islands of Mediterranean Sea, uh, authored by uh, Domenico Curto, Vincenzo Francita, Marco Trapenese, uh, and Maurizio Cir Ciricchione. Uh, the distinguished authors of this paper will be honored with uh, a copy of the book titled Assessing and Measuring Environmental Impact and Sustainability, authored by Professor Jerzy Klemes, and uh, two Davis coins as a token of appreciation. Uh, I don't know whether we have a present author here. If not, uh, let us check. Do we have authors online? Uh, no, so we will deliver uh, the award later on, but uh, let us uh, jointly congratulate to the authors on this outstanding achievement. Best Paper Awards. It is a prestigious recognition presented to the authors of the top three papers, and the selection process involves two phases. The first phase is a nomination phase, uh, and during this phase, all reviewers and editors nominate candidate papers for the Best Paper Award from the papers they are reviewing or editing. Then selection phase comes into stage and in this second phase each member of the award committee 
select, select two favorite papers from the pool of candidates. So uh, we, we got a short list of papers to move in the second phase of individual evaluation. In the current evaluation for this conference, there were over 40 nominated papers, out of which eight papers advanced to the second phase. These eight papers were individually assessed by the members of the award committee, and the final ranking is determined based on the average scores assigned by the committee members. The winners uh, will receive certificates from Zdeves and a book uh, authored by a member of Zdeves International Scientific Committee. And allow me to introduce the esteemed members of the award committee, all of whom are distinguished members of the Zdeves International Scientific Committee. Professor Antonio Piacentino, Professor Ingo Stadler, Professor Kiwa Wang, and Professor Alexander Zidanschek. These uh, dedicated professionals have played a crucial role in uh, this uh, rigorous evaluation process to identify the ex exceptional papers for the best paper award. Now, uh, without further delay, let's proceed to unveil and celebrate the outstanding authors of the three winning papers. The third best paper award goes to the following outstanding paper. Theoretical analysis of using multiple borehole heat exchangers for production of heating and cooling energy in shallow geothermal res uh, reservoirs with underground water flow. Authors are Amalia Lekic Brechneder, Luka Perković, Tomislav Kurvelja, Kurevlja, Kurevia, sorry, and uh, uh, Maria Matenic. Uh, notably, the first author of this uh, remarkable paper is a female researcher from Croatia. Congratulations of, uh, the authors, to the authors uh, for their outstanding achievement. Uh, the book, uh, Process Integration and Intensification, Saving Energy, Water and Resources, will go to the author team as a well-deserved recognition. Regrettably, uh, the first author was unable to attend in person or virtually, uh, and the award, so the award uh, will be, the presentation of the award will be arranged later on. Congratulations once again uh, to the authors. The author team of uh, the second best paper comes from China. The paper considers uh, rational synthesis and thermochemical properties regulation of nanostructured materials for efficient CO2 conversion. Uh, the esteemed authors of this uh, remarkable paper will be awarded with a valuable book uh, co-authored by Professor Jerzy Klemesh, Sustainability in the Process Industry, Integration and Optimization. I would like to invite Boxi Cheng, the first author to the stage, to share some words with you and accept this well-deserved award.
Thank you very much. Do I need some? Yes, some. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Bo Xigong from uh, Harbin Institute of Technology, China. Uh, it is my honor to win this prize. And uh, firstly, I want to thank to the uh, Stateways uh, Conference and the committee. They have helped me a lot about uh, some visas and uh, publication issues. Uh, and I have bothered them a lot for the, through the email. So, and the second, I want to thank to, uh, also the conference because uh, they gave me a chance to get in to show my latest uh, latest uh, project and uh, to give the latest results and give us a chance to communicate about the renewable energy use and the environment. And finally, I want to thank to my research group. They helped me a lot. Thank you, that's all. So, the prestigious Best Paper Award uh, considered the top honor among the papers goes to the paper entitled Analysis of Power P2G2X Systems with Metal Hybrid Storage Based on Coupled Electrochemical and Thermodynamic Simulation. Authors are Michael Barry Rudy, uh, Simon Maiswinkel, Malte Fenning, Stefan Schedler, Barbara Schiffer, Gerd Stebenk, and Tanya Cleese. Congratulations to the authors of this exceptional paper for achieving this distinguished recognition as the best of the best. The award, uh, Professor Henrik Slundbuk, goes to the first author, Michael Bariev Rudi from Germany. Uh, thank you very much. It is a pleasant surprise and an honor to receive this award. Uh, I want to extend my thanks to the Stavis Committee um, and to my colleagues for helping with this paper and collaborating. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, before we move on, on the next uh, award category, I would like to highlight that uh, we have achieved a commendable geographical representation among our awarded, uh, awarded recipients. Uh, the first authors of the winning papers hail from three different countries. Uh, showcasing the diversity and international reach of our community. We have two European countries represented, Germany and uh, Croatia, and one Asian country, China. And furthermore, we have maintained gender balance with the first author of the third best paper being a female researcher. Um, now, let us transition to the next award category, the Loyalty Award. And this award is uh, dedicated uh, to recognize the most loyal participants in Davis uh, conferences. Based on the participation statistics, we are proud to announce that the recipient of the Loyalty Award is Professor Laura Vanoli from Italy. Uh, Professor Laura Vanoli has exhibited remarkable dedication and loyalty by actively participating in all of the main Davis conferences 
since 2015. In total, nine conferences. In recognition of her remarkable loyalty to the Davis conferences, Professor Laura Vanoli will also be honored with Professor Henrik's, Henrik Lund's uh, book. Uh, Laura will be arriving later today, so she is unable to join us during this session. But uh, I would also like to extend the invitation to uh, Professor Adolfo Palombo to represent uh, Laura and receive this prestigious award on her behalf. Um, the final and most prestigious category of awards is the Honorary Award. This award is uh, presented to an individual who has made distinguished and exceptional contributions to Zdeves conferences. As we reflect uh, on the legacy of this award, it is worth noting that uh, the distinguished past awardees who have enriched our community our, uh, with their outstanding work. Professor Naim Afghan, Professor Jordan Popjordanov, Professor Simon Oka, Professor Ivo Schlaus, Professor Hemal, Kemal Hanjelic, uh, Professor Maria de Grasa Carvalho, Professor Vyacheslav Kafarov, Professor Henrik Lund, Professor Irji Klemes, and Professor Tarik Kupusovic. Each of these awardees has left a um, um, remarkable uh, mark on our community through their dedication and uh, contributions. Today, we eagerly anticipate the announcement of this year honor award recipient. And uh, it is with great pleasure that I announce uh, the recipient of this year's honorary award. Uh, this prestigious recognition is bestowed upon Professor Nikola Ruzinski. <laughs> Professor Nikola Ruzinski has been an integral part of the Zdeves community since in its inception. He played a significant role as a member of the local organizing committee for the first three conferences and has been a dedicated member of the International Scientific Committee since 2007. His enduring commitment and substantial contributions to the success and growth of the Davis Conference make him a truly deserving recipient of the honorary award. Congratulations to Professor Nikola Ruzinski for this well-deserved honor. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, I am not sure that I deserve so, uh, so much uh, uh, for my work. I have been a member of the group when I was at the University of Zagreb in the first years I was active. Then when I moved to another job to the Ministry of Science and uh, later, uh, later to the Ministry of Energy and Environment, I did do something that have uh, helped uh, to better understand in the public uh, that the work of the energy uh, saving and the work of the uh, saving the uh, environment on the 
way that our uh, scientists can contribute and find uh, and work to find solution. It was not the job is not finished yet, and I'm uh, very grateful, uh, honored to receive this award. As we come to the end of this award session, I would like on behalf of the award committee, all Davis members and personally, to extend our heartfelt congratulations to all our Ds. Your remarkable achievements and contributions are truly commendable. Let us all join in a round of applause to celebrate the success of our awardees. And I would like to invite all the awardees and members of the award committee to come forward for a joint photo here on the stage. Furthermore, I would like to, rem uh, to remind about uh, a family photo, inviting all participants to join uh, us for a family photo. And with this, I officially close the award session and declare the Sustainable Development of Energy, Water and Environment System Conference officially open. Thank you all for your participation.